Hello and welcome to Structured Change. For those that watched the introductory presentation on um, SIPOC, you probably assumed that we would start with the S and go from left to right. Well, from a change perspective, we're going to turn that on its head and actually start with the letter C or customer. So many times when we're out um, with organizations and we ask a particular person, anyone in the organization, who is your customer? Um, quite simply, they'll say, they'll refer to the external customer buying the product or service that your organization has created. Within a SIPOC exercise, the customer that we're actually seeking is actually the next person in the process that you deliver something to. For instance, and in this exercising example, we're gonna use one that we did on an engineering function as the underlying example. Engineering first thought, well, we don't really have any customers because we just do engineering. However, at the end of the session, as you'll see in this presentation, their customers are everyone from quality to sales, to manufacturing, to maintenance, to um, even upper management. And when you start with the C, customer, and people start thinking about their true internal customer, people actually start questioning a lot more than just their daily output. They start to question why we're doing something in the first place. And it's quite surprising that even after doing the C area of SIPOC, that continual improvement starts to raise its hand and to all the opportunities that one may consider. So anyway, let's take a look now at the first part of the series, customer. Okay, let's start with customer and get straight into it. So from a SIPOC perspective, you can see supplier input, process, output, and we are here. We are going to start with who is the recipient of something from this process? And it's very important that when you're setting up your workshop or the way in which you will find out from the function how they identify their customers, is sometimes it's worthwhile to do a bit of research to find out who will be in the room. It's also important that you may want to provide a couple of other people from different functions in the workshop, for instance, supply chain, operations or maintenance, because it brings out more challenge, but it also gets people thinking more broadly. So again, graphically, a SIPOC looks like this from left to right. You can see here, we are down here with customer. Both customer and supplier are people, so from a side pocket, it always begins and ends with a person or an entity of some type. The input and the output and of course the process. But ultimately, we are trying to understand what is the demand being placed on us and what is the value we're ultimately trying to deliver. And that's more at the functional value. So moving forward, it's quite easy to create a template for a side pocket. You could get one online or you just create one just like I have here in either PowerPoint, Word, Excel, whatever your tool is. It's, you could even do it on brown paper, take a photo of it and record it for later use. So in our workshop, you can see here, we looked at manufacturing, sales, quality, operations, purchasing. You can see the others of they who that was who they identified as being recipients of the processes that they are they perform in engineering you can see really if you're doing a workshop and the workshop went for a day you could normally have this knocked out in about half an hour to an hour this is this is one of the easier um, elements of a SIPOC to perform so thanks for taking a look at the customer component of SIPOC Let's step through the series until we get to the summary, which brings it all together and will demonstrate what a powerful tool the SIPOC is. Thank you.